if civil war comes, and I do think it is imminent, you're quite right, it will for us be the price of freedom. Our people here have for a long time been prepared for this eventuality, and I am confident of their readiness. I think that when it does come, well, the people on the other side would be surprised as to what they're going to get. And I'm confident that it will not last long. Two months ago, it appeared Nigeria was close to winning its war with Biafra, but now the fighting seems to be at a stalemate apparently because French weapons now are reaching the Biafrans. Half of Biafran's seven million people are said to be nearing starvation, and only a few food shipments are being flown in. We have obtained some extraordinary film of the war in Biafra made by French cameramen, fought by a group of Biafran commandos and their white mercenary leaders. seven mercenaries in charge of 4,000 Biafran commandos. One, called Michel X, was going into his first battle. Others, called Big Bill and Marco the Brave, were veterans. A Belgian, Mark Goosens, had fought in the Congo and Yemen. He said the mercenaries were paid regularly, but were critically short of weapons. Every month we pay here in Biafra, we will be paying. Are you good soldiers? Yeah, we have very good soldiers, very brave soldiers. We don't get um, weapons enough and ammunition enough. But you have some planes in the night. It's not enough? It's not enough. It's not enough to fight against uh, Nigerians because N Nigerians have more ammunition and more weapons. They get uh, tanks. We don't get no bazooka. We have no bazooka. We don't get any um, anti-tank weapon. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's why we. Uh, are you in the Congo before? Yes, before I was in. And the you Congo. too, Bilwa? Yes, yes, he was. Bilois, yes, he was together. Yeah. Ah. And uh, the next time, where I. <laughs> in command was the oldest of the mercenaries in Biafra, a South African known only as Major Williams. To so make up your minds to start work. Not go around like bloody women, yak, yak, yak. Get a moving. Move, move. Major, uh -huh. okay. may I ask a question? Uh -huh. You are a British? Oh, no, South African. South African? Uh -huh. why, why you are on this side and not on the other with the British? Oh, I'm a South African, not British. Why should we help the British? This is the side I prefer for my conscience. I wouldn't, I'd never fight with the communists. I was fought against them, Central Africa. And I just disagree with communism, plus I like these people. Gunners outnumber us, but we've got the fighting spirit as you saw this morning. The blokes are willing to go in and have a go, and without morale, we'll beat them. And you stay in Biafra? Oh, yes, definitely. More? Definitely? Definitely, until the end of the war. Then they go on to the next one. Thank you. <laughs> Major General Ojukwu, a man who led the secession in Biafra, is on his way to seek political asylum in Zambia, in Central Africa. He is said to have with him 3,000 pounds of luggage and his Mercedes-Benz automobile. At 40 minutes past 4 p.m. today, Nigerian time, Africa's worst war came to an end, that between Nigeria and breakaway Biafra. 
Major General Philip F. Young, left in charge of Biafra when General Ojukwu fled Sunday, announced the end on Radio Biafra, a mobile radio station. He appealed to the federal Nigerian leader, General Gowan, for a ceasefire to negotiate a settlement within the framework of a united Nigeria. The war has lasted two and a half years. Around two million people have died. The peril that remains now is starvation of four million Biafrans or slaughter by federal troops. We have fought a long, bitter battle, and it has ended in a victory for common sense, a victory for the unity of this country. And we have got cause to thank all the people of this country for what they have done to help to keep this country one. But I think above all, the gallant officers and men who had given their lives that this nation might live. And we have with us today Colonel Obasanjo and unfortunately the other field commanders are not able to be with us at this moment. But we have Colonel Obasanjo, who is the commander of 3 Marine Commando, who had been able to capture a number of senior secessionist officers, and he had brought them to Lagos to see us in order to let us have the acceptance of the spirit of one Nigeria. formally give up secession and report for reappointment and redeployment. Philip Efron. Hello. Your Excellency. Oh. Glad to see you again. My pleasure. How are you? Very well indeed. Glad to see you again. Thank you. Patrick Amadi. How are you? Excellency. Glad to see you again. And I would like, therefore, to take this opportunity to say that I, Major General Philip Ephion, officer administ administering the government of the Republic of Biafra, now wish to make the following declaration. That we affirm we are loyal Nigerian ci citizens and accept the authority of the federal military government of Nigeria. That we accept the existing administrative and political structure of the Federation of Nigeria. That any future constitutional arrangement will be worked out by representatives of the people of Nigeria. That the Republic of Biafra hereby ceases to exist. 